Hello. Hello everyone. You're welcome to a few cool mathematics. We have x squared equals 4 into bracket x minus 3 to the power of 2. This is a problem sent to me by one of my followers on um, YouTube. And I promised I was going to solve it. Now, let's look at this problem together. This is x squared. Now, this 4 here is the same as 2 squared, right? Then, open bracket, we have x minus 3 to the power of 2. And now that both of these are raised to the power of 2, we can combine them. So, we have x squared equal to here we have two okay then i open bracket and i write x minus three then i will raise this to the power of two okay so because both of them are raised to the power of two we will combine them just the way i did now i can open this bracket so that we have x squared to be equal to open bracket we have 2x minus 6 and this is raised to the power of 2 how did i get 2x minus 6 2 times x is 2x 2 times minus 3 is minus 6 now let's bring everything to the same side so we will have x to the power of 2 minus open bracket 2x minus um, 6 to the power of 2 is equal to 0. And from here, what do I do? I can apply difference of two squares here because we consider this as a term. We consider this as a term. So we're having difference of, difference of two squares. Now, we will have x minus open bracket 2x minus 6 close this now this will be in the first bracket then in the second we have x in place of this minus now i'll be having plus then i write the whole of this in bracket 2x minus 6 close this and equate everything to zero this is called difference of two squares now open this um, bracket we write x, negative times 2x will give us negative 2x. Then negative times negative 6 will give us plus 6. Then we close this. Then to the next, the positive will open the bracket without changing a sign. So we write x plus 2x minus 6. And this is equal to 0 x minus 2x is minus um, minus 1x. Then we have plus 6 equals 0. Or from here, if you put these two together, then we are having um, 3x minus 6 equals 0. To continue with this, we have minus x to be equal to negative 6 or... 3x to be equal to 6. Let's continue. This can go with this. And our x is equal to 6. That's positive 6, right? Or on this side, x will be equal to 3 divided by okay, 6 divided by 3. Because the coefficient is 3. Now, x here remains 6. Or from here, x is equal to 6 divided by 3 is 2. Therefore, we have x to be equal to 6 or 2. Now, both of them are positive. And I'm thinking, can the both of them satisfy the given equation? That is where we are heading. Let's confirm this very quickly because it's very, very important. 
Okay, so this is the original equation, and we have that x is equal to 6 or 2. Now let's work with two, um, with 6 first. If we put 6 there, we're having 6 to the power of 2 to be equal to 4, probably. 4 into bracket x is 6, then we have minus 3, then we square. Now 6 squared is 36. Will this be equal to 4 into bracket 6 minus 3 is 3, then we have square. Now we have 36, then we have 4 into bracket 3 squared is 9. And then this means we have 36 to be equal to 36 because 4 times 9 is 36. So this is to confirm that x equals 6 is very correct. Now let's work with x equals 2. So in place of, um, where is that? In place of x squared, I'm going to write 2 squared now. And it's equal to 4 into bracket x minus 3. That becomes 2 minus 3. Close the bracket and there's a square on it. Now 2 squared is 4. Okay, let me circle this. Now we circle this. I'm, I'm doing this because it may not be equal to what we have on the right. Okay. Now we have 4 into bracket 2 minus 3 is minus 1. Then I have to square this. Now we have 4 and it's equal to 4 minus 1 squared will give us 1. And 4 times 1 is 4. So 4 is equal to 4. So we can conclude that x equals 6 or 2 satisfies the equation. Thank you for watching and do well to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I hope that um, the friend that sent this will get to see this anytime soon. Thank you for watching.